Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn how to design a wavelength division multiplexing system using OctaSystem. In fiber optic communications, wavelength division multiplexing, or WDM, is a technology which multiplexes a number of optical carrier signals onto a single optical fiber by using different wavelengths of laser light. This technique enables us to get a high bit rate and efficient use of fiber bandwidth. These are the points covered in this tutorial. We will continue with the design that we did in the last tutorial. Select all the components in the transmitter section. Copy and paste as I am doing. Here, we will design a 4 carrier WDM system. You may take any number of channel as per your wish. Now let us find WDM multiplexer. In the last tutorial, we used sweep iterations, but here, we are not going to plot any graph. Again go to layout, then parameter groups. Select Frequency. Now, click on Spread and set starting value at 193.1 terahertz, and increment set at 0.1. This will keep a frequency separation of 100 gigahertz between the carrier wavelengths. So, instead of modifying each laser parameter separately, we can easily set the frequencies following this procedure. In the WDM multiplexer also, we put same channel frequencies. Now, connect the optical fiber after the transmitter. Connect the WDM DMX. Press and hold the control key and drag the pin photo detector. This is another shortcut way to copy paste a component.
let us change the fiber property. To know the function of a 3R generator, go through the description section in the components library PDF. Connect the optical spectrum analyzer before and after the fiber. Set the WDMD multiplexer frequencies same as the multiplex. Now, run the simulation. We will check the eye diagram for all the channels. These are the four different frequencies that we set at the CW lasers. There is an option to zoom, and we have a much closer view. We can also increase the fiber length and test the design system. Now let us optimize the design parameters.
Here we will add an optical amplifier, so that, each receiver gets sufficient power to detect the signal. The eye diagram is much better in this case, because we added an optical amplifier, and each photo detector is getting sufficient power to convert the optical signal to electrical form. Let us further increase the fiber length and test the system. As the fiber length is increasing, the noise level also increasing. We can get any component details by using the help function. Thank you so much for watching, let's meet at the next tutorial video.